This is a brief demonstration of the Japanese app for the Apple iPhone and iPod Touch, and soon to be available on the iPad. This app is a Japanese dictionary and study tool. It's available on the App Store for $15.99. Just type in Japanese into the App Store search bar on your iPhone or on your iTunes on your computer to find it. This app is made from the company called Code from Tokyo. Here's a brief demonstration of what the Japanese app interface looks like. First, you click the app to open it, and it usually opens in about 4 seconds. It contains more than 150,000 entries and 12,000 kanji. Type a word into the search bar, and click on the entry. The hurigana, romaji, and classification will come up, as well as the definition. You can select specific kanji in the word, and see the animated stroke order. The animated stroke order diagrams are available for about 2,800 Japanese characters, including hiragana, katakana, and all 1,945 daily use kanji. You can go back. Instead of searching using the American alphabet keyboard, you can draw the kanji using your finger. The application understands that the user is drawing the tree kanji, and then you can look at the stroke order for that also. We can go back to the entry. You can see popular compounds for this kanji also. We can go back to the main menu. You can also search for kanji using the number of strokes. For example, this one has 19 strokes. We can go back to the main menu. You can go back to all entries and change the keyboard input back to the American alphabet and search Miru using Romaji. When you select it, you can look at the translation, the kanji used in it, and all the different conjugations. You can also search American words, like a regular dictionary, and look up the translation. We can go back to the main menu, and we can go back to classifications, and see all these different classifications that shows you words related to that topic. For example, geography, if you go to that topic, and you can look at prefectures, and as a list of all the prefectures in Japan. If you can't find the right one you want, you can go to the very top and search. And you can search all the prefectures for the one that you're looking for. You can search the Japanese word itself by hiragana or katakana, by romaji, or by using the handwriting keyboard. After you've selected an entry that you want, you can see the hurigana, the romaji, the translation, and the kanji used in that word. Also, you can see examples where that word is used in a sentence. You can look up the conjugated forms of verbs, and the dictionary will show you the plain form. So if you look up hanashimashita, it will give you the hanasu entry. And then you can see the translation, the kanji used in that word, examples using that word, popular compounds, for example, kanji combinations that are used often, and all the different conjugations.
Another way to search for words in the dictionary is to go to lists. And in the lists, you can either look up classification, lexical, category. In classification, as you already saw, there are all different topics, and you can search for words related to that topic. Or in lexical categories, there are different things like expressions, proverbs, and interjections. It'll give you a list of words related to that category. If you don't know the reading of a kanji, you can look up a kanji by components or by skip code. If you click on skip code, you can enter the skip code for a kanji and it will show up. If you know the components of a kanji, you can add each component by the number of strokes that it has. So for the flower kanji, the first component has three strokes, so we add that component in. And another component has two strokes, so we add that in. And then you're able to find the flower kanji. You add one component at a time until the kanji you're looking for appears. For each kanji and word, you can also add it to a list, just by clicking the list button in the top right corner. You can create several lists, and from each list, you can create flashcards. The flashcards are generated automatically. You can set it to either go from the Japanese word to the English definition, or from the English word to the Japanese word. If you get it wrong, you'll have to do it again, but if you do it correctly, it'll move on to the finished pile. The Japanese app also has the JPLT official list of words and kanji. It has the words and kanji for each level, and it includes the date for the next JPLT. The Japanese app for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad is a great tool and is available for only $15.99 on the App Store. An internet connection is not required, so you can use it anywhere. It requires iPhone or iPod Touch firmware 3.0 or 3.1. It's a great tool and it's definitely worth the cost.